Today's reading is from Psalm 125. So welcome into the Daily Psalm series here. And let's get into the Word of God today right now, as well as a discussion and pray as well. So be sure to stay for that if you want to. A Song of Ascents Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds His people from this time forth and forever. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, lest the righteous reach out their hands to iniquity. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good, and to those who are upright in their hearts. As for such as turn aside to their crooked ways, the Lord shall lead them away with the workers of iniquity. Peace be upon Israel. What I'm reminded of here is that God gives us all a fair chance. It says in verse 4, Do good, O Lord, to those who are good. Why would there be any good people out there in this world? Because no one is good, no one does good. But it is God who makes us whole and pure in heart. I believe God constantly is meeting with us every day. And we are not always understanding how God is speaking to us or what God is saying to us, mainly because we are not in line with the voice of God. We are not in line with God's word and we get distracted by a lot of things in life. Even the ungodly people, I believe, are being spoken to by God all the time, but they don't pay attention to the voice of God because they don't know his voice. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice and they follow me. We who are children of God, who have given our lives to Jesus Christ, we must understand that Jesus is our shepherd and he is guiding the way because we know his voice. But we do still have to continue to learn and be more sensitive on how to hear the voice of God. And the best way to hear the voice of God is to be rooted in his word and to meditate on his word so that the Holy Spirit will remind you of his word and his promises that will give you direction in life, it will give you peace, and there's a whole lot more that the Holy Spirit will remind you as well, based on your knowledge of the Word of God. I just read last night in Hosea chapter 4 and verse 6, that God's people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So it's so important to identify the voice of God by the Word of God, by His Word. So it's so important to be aware of when God is speaking to us, how God is speaking to us and what his word is saying to us. Because the word of God is a discerner of the things of our hearts, we need to understand that the word of God is speaking to us whenever we read the word. And this is one way God speaks to us is through his word. I would even say that God speaks to us through his word more than anything else. So the key here today is to remain upright in heart. How do we do that? We remain in prayer daily. We remain in God's word daily and God will continue to work on us because we are willing to do the right thing. We are willing to grow. We are willing to be more sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit and to know why God has put us on this earth and what our job is to do and the way forward. I'm reminded of Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 6 which says, In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. So we are to acknowledge God every single day. And that is how he is going to keep us on the right path. And he's going to direct our every step. Praise God, guys. I hope that you received something from today's word. And I want to pray for you now before the end of the video. Lord God, we come before you today in Jesus name. And I just lift up the people who are watching this video, Lord. I pray that you would allow them to be more sensitive to your voice, Holy Spirit. Teach them your ways. Teach them how to hear your voice clearly. And I pray that you would speak to them through your word, Father God, exactly what they need to hear and show them every step of the way. Give them strength in their lives, in their hearts to not give up on the faith that they have in you, Father. And thank you that we get the opportunity to acknowledge you in all our ways, Lord. Help us to be reminded of doing this constantly all the time, that you will direct our paths, Lord, and that we do not go 
to our own crooked ways, but that we follow your ways and remain upright in heart. Let it be so in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray a blessing over those who are watching today. Guidance, protection, spiritual understanding, wisdom, knowledge of your will for their lives. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thanks for watching today's video today, guys. I will see you again tomorrow for Psalm 126. God bless and may the peace of Jesus rest upon you in his mighty name. Amen.